der Unfall ist mittlerweile schon 23. It's been 23 years now since the accident. I fell under a train as I was jumping on. The train started pulling out and I lost my arm. And of course it was terrible as a 19 year old. When you think you can take on the world and nothing can stop you, to be crushed like that was really tough. People tried to be diplomatic, of course. They'd say, well, you used to be a good football player and a good skier, but now you just have to do other things. And that sparked a little flame in me. It spurred me on. Just you wait. You're already writing me off, but I can still run. And that was such a huge motivation for me, to prove it to them and to myself too. And then everything took off. I was always a skier before too. Once I was runner-up in the Bavarian Championships. So there was always talent there. And then I found out there was a national team, had to check them out. And that's where I ended up. At first it was completely new territory for me. I had never had any experience with people in wheelchairs or whatever, amputees, above the knee, below the knee, all kinds of things. And I thought, oh God. And then in no time at all, it was so normal. Everybody pulled out all the stops and had a great time. And I realized that was exactly what I wanted to do. My first Paralympics in Albertville back in 92, it was amazing. I won three gold medals. And during the medal ceremony, wow, you're standing there and you don't realize what's happening to you. And then when I came home, that was when it first sank in, what I had set in motion. When a little town like mine gets mentioned on the evening news, Gerd Schoenefelder from Kuhlmain wins in the Paralympics. It's amazing for the people who live there. I don't think our town had ever been on the national news before. So everybody got on their feet and we actually celebrated non-stop for three days straight. It was unbelievable. My personal champion of the year is my wife, of course, because all that time when I wasn't around, and the kids are now two and a half and five years old, and she also has to run her speech therapy offices, and it all has to keep going at the same time. It's really tough. Now it's her turn to relax a little, and I can take care of other things that would have fallen to her. My greatest triumph in sports was definitely Vancouver, because it was my last Paralympics and I had made an absolutely firm resolution and I prepared myself and worked towards this goal. I definitely wanted to wrap it all up with a gold medal. And it worked out so incredibly well, starting off with a silver medal in the slalom, then four more gold medals, making it 16 altogether. For me, it turned out to be a super combination, because after the race, I found out I had just become a father for the second time. Last Paralympics race, got the gold and the new baby. I thought, now that's going out with a bang. So come out here.